I'm Lizzie Meek. I'm Anna Shepherd. And I'm Jana Steffen. And we're with the Antarctic Heritage Trust, and we're here today at Shackleton's Hut at Cape Royds. The Antarctic Heritage Trust is a charitable trust that's been set up with the purpose of trying to preserve the historic huts um, that are found down here in Antarctica. At the moment, we're repopulating the hut with artefacts that have been previously conserved last winter. I feel very privileged to be able to work on these artefacts. Being able to, to be here and actually picking up the artefact that's been conserved and putting it back on the shelf where you hope is, is the, uh, the most appropriate place that it would have been kept in the past. It's a very, very humbling feeling. My name is Jana Steffen and I'm a conservator, which means that I help with the preservation and restoration uh, of this hut and other sites. The Trust is based in Christchurch, New Zealand. The bulk of the work that the Trust does is based out of New Zealand, but uh, it's a whole slew of international conservators that have been involved. I think there's been conservators from the UK and the US and Australia and Canada, as well as New Zealand. On site, we, as a conservator, were basically concerned with returning the artifacts that have been conserved over the winter and summer into the huts and making sure they're in a safe environment and recording where they go and recording any changes that uh, we might have noticed happening in the huts and uh, any sort of general maintenance that needs to be done we take care of as well. Uh, this particular hut uh, was built by Shackleton in 1908 uh, on the Nimrod expedition and uh, it was they were here for one winter and they lived in it for the winter and it was their base when they headed towards the pole that following spring. Um, this project is really quite significant for me personally because ever since I was a little girl I've had a really strong interest in polar exploration and so I've read pretty much all of the first-hand accounts written by the men that were down here and so for me to actually be standing and working inside the huts I just never I mean I never even imagined that would have been a possibility and so everything every artifact that I work on everything that I see I can pretty much relate to some aspect of the story and that to to ha be so involved in history like that this is such a harsh environment that if we weren't doing the work we're doing today this would all be gone in 50 less than 100 years and I say that with a good amount of certainty because there are other huts that have just been completely ravaged by the wind and the snow and the ice and the scoria and so what we're doing is keeping it around so that future people can get the feeling that we get when we walk inside the hut and feel the ambiance and feel what it would have been like to be the explorers down here and without the work of the trust that just wouldn't be possible. My name is Lizzie Meek. I'm the program manager for the artifacts conservation side of the Antarctic Heritage Trust. So I plan and manage and implement the conservation of the artefacts inside the hut so that's the actual objects that were left behind by Shackleton. This hut is probably to my mind important on two fronts. The first one is the, um, and this is in no particular order, <laughs> the scientific evidence that we get from, from studying the huts and uh, the items that were left behind by the early polar explorers. They tell us a lot about uh, people who lived in that era uh, particularly people who are exploring in this harsh climate. The other thing that's significant about the huts is the spirit of the place, the feeling that they give to people that anything is possible, that you can send a small bunch of people down here into the great wilderness and they will achieve amazing things and they will pull together as a team and they will just go further than anyone could have imagined. And that's a kind of a beacon, I think, to people, especially in our generation, that's not a great many unexplored frontiers and yet here we are today working in Antarctica and we're experiencing some of the same things, the same challenges and so we look back to those guys who came down here and, uh, and they teach us a lot about humans in general. My favourite part is, is being able to see these artefacts being restored to not original condition but as best as we can take them and then go back inside that hut and be there to tell the story that they otherwise wouldn't have been able to tell in such a fabulous place basically.